I wanted to ask, what do you feel are the kind of few biggest takeaways for our transatlantic movement in terms of both our successes and failures over the past five years? Well, right now, as we are fighting to pass this transformative piece of legislation, Hope, we are taking on the entire ruling class of the United States of America. So what I hope the American people are learning, and by the way, we didn't, uh, John raised the issue of corporate media, I think media in general, and that's an issue we have got to deal with. You know, Trump called the mainstream media in the United States fake news, that's wrong. It's not fake news, it's just that for a variety of reasons, they don't deal with the real issues impacting working people. That's at least my experience in the United States. So the failure, it's not even a failure. We are now taking on everybody. We're taking on the billionaire class. They don't want to pay more in taxes. We're taking on the healthcare industry. They don't want to expand public health. We're taking on the fossil fuel industry because they would prefer to destroy the planet and continue to make money. We're taking on the drug companies that charge us in the United States the highest prices in the world for prescription drugs, far higher, by the way, than you pay. So we're taking them all on. We are coming forward with a people's agenda that is very, very popular. And the ruling class says, we cannot allow this to happen. If government begins to work for working people, they're gonna get the crazy idea that democracy is a good thing, that it will work for them. Can't allow that to happen. They are spending tens of millions of dollars demonizing me and other people who are fighting for this change. That's the bad news. The bad news is that these people are very religious. Their religion is greed. It is greed, and they are prepared to destroy the planet in order to make a few dollars more. We come together around a progressive agenda, put that agenda first and foremost, and ask the ruling class, why not? Why should not all young people have education and decent housing and all the other things that we need in society? Put them on the defensive. So, um, but thank you very much, Hope, for that question.